Anyone who knows me knows that I can't sit still. My hands always have to be moving. They have to keep occupied, and over the years, I've picked up a few hobbies. At first, it was yo-yos. I picked it up at the end of elementary school and learned a few tricks. It was a lot of fun training my hands to get used to new movements and getting the muscle memory to perform, but yo-yoing comes with some flaws. You're fucking paying for that. Next, it was Zippos. I saw some videos online of people flipping around Zippos and doing cool tricks, and I wanted to do that too. I'm surprised my parents were so cool with it. Not a lot of people like the idea of a middle schooler playing around with lighters. It was fun. Until my trash can lit on fire. Through Zippos, I found a new and probably more dangerous hobby to keep my hands occupied. Butterfly knives. Butterfly knives were closer to yo-yos than anything else, since there's a huge community behind it and lots of resources to learn new tricks. I learned and practiced more with my butterfly knife than anything else. But when I moved to Europe, I dropped the hobby. Real butterfly knives are illegal here, and for some reason it's just not as fun without the risk of needing stitches. Fuck. What the hell about that? Ah, that would've been bad. <laughs> I needed something new. But I had a problem. Yo-yos, zippos, and butterfly knives were all fun, but they're not really something that's acceptable to carry around and mess with in public, and especially not in schools. I needed something new. Something that I could do anywhere, but that still gave me a challenge to get better at. Where would I find something like that? Have you ever heard about pen spinning? It took me a while to just learn the basic spin, but now that I have it down, I practice it everywhere, which can sometimes be a problem. I've even learned some new tricks, like the forward, and the reverse, and that's it, actually. But something was still missing. All of these hobbies were fun, but they didn't mean anything. I wanted to find a way to use my habit to improve myself, so I tried something new. I started learning guitar. When I first got my guitar, I spent weeks doing nothing but practice. I finally found something to keep my hands busy at home, but more importantly, I found something that I love doing. I've been playing for more than a year now, and I still can't go a day without sitting down and strumming a few chords. Off the back of that, I also picked up drawing. Just like pen spinning, I can draw everywhere, and I get the added benefit of getting to show it off to people when it's done. Drawing and playing guitar are two things that I'm really proud of, and although I'm more likely to show off one than the other, They're two things that I really enjoy doing, and I look forward to getting better at them over the years. And that's the story of how I turned my habits into skills.